Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Geeks Go Gaming with me Reg and me Dan and this time around we are playing uh it's an all right game it's nothing really special it's special it's... well we, you say we it's just a, it's a single player game Reg it is, and it's possibly the greatest game of all time ever. And when I say possibly, it could only be outshadowed by the first one. Uh, we are playing Shenmue 2. It is actually my favourite game of all time ever. Um, unfortunately, we can't actually do Shenmue 1 at the moment because the Dreamcast won't plug into my capture device, unfortunately. Um, so we thought we're just going to do a little quick mini playthrough of Shenmue 2. On the old Xbox. On the old Xbox the old One. Xbox. No, be... not the One. The well, 360. sorry, the original Xbox. So oh, technically. Uh, see, I remember when this first came out, like, how amazing did this look? Mm. I mean, still now, it, it, even though it's quite blocky, it still holds out really, really yeah. nicely. Mm. Um, I'm just so excited. This is the cave, which Rio gets to know. Don't ruin it. Spoilers. Well. Spoilers. He's only had 10 years to become accustomed to this cave. It's all right, though. He's, he's out and about racing, though. That's true, yeah. Arcade cabinets. Looks like. Oh, yeah. The old Shenmue. It's just this this whole intro just brings back so many memories, so many amazing memories. I mean, this this, this came out in what 2001, um, and it was just I was in college at the time this got released, um, and I threw a sickie for half a day once the uh, once the shops opened up for the second one for the second one, yeah, and. Uh, I never went back to college after that, really. I stayed at home and played Shemu. So basically, Shemu 2 is, your life. is really to blame for where yeah, I am at got, the moment. Got, yeah. Which but, isn't all that bad. No. To be fair, I'm actually really, really made up uh, with where I am. Okay, but what, what about days. when you first played Shemu 1? I remember Shemu 1. Um, my brother won a Dreamcast um, in a competition nice. in, in his workplace at the time. And he won a Dreamcast with six games. Um, and I kept getting the official Dreamcast magazine yeah. for like for months, and there was this game Shenmue, which was going to come out, which was going to be a game where you could go anywhere, do anything, you could change your clothes, you could actually uh, go out, cut your hair, you could do anything you ever dreamed of, you could imagine. And I was getting quite excited for this game. Um, it looked absolutely phenomenal on the um, on the actual pictures. The descriptions for it was was just superb, and I was like, oh, I'm so excited for this. And then it came out, and you couldn't really do Quite as much. much as what they were saying, but you could still go out and just do. You could still go to a tattoo parlor, you just couldn't go to get a tattoo. Yeah. You could still go drinking with sailors. I'm looking for some sailors. <laughs> you could still buy a can of Coke or Jack Cola. You could still uh, get capsule toys. You could. So, in effect, it was still a, a live and breathing world, which was solely like I mean even the the weather was actually set back in the day exactly the same as what it was on the days of that yeah. it was it, the amount of effort we put into it was, was phenomenal I think that's what really just like brought me into the world straight away yeah. um, and then obviously the story hit the action hit and my uh, my love of Nozomi really blossomed beautiful beautiful game um, but yeah I mean it just holds so many memories for me um, and it's also probably the game I've completed the most out of any game. Really? Um, Even the amount of hours you have to put in to complete it. Yeah. Wow. I think I've I've easily gone gone over the twenty mark for Shenmue One. Um, Shenmue Two not as much because then, like I said, obviously I was in college. Um, That's all right. I, I had alcohol, um, so I was out quite a lot. So I've only done this probably into double figures. Okay. Um, but Look at that lens flare. It's Beautiful. it's still so glorious. I mean, I mean when this first came out, looking through, <laughs> look at the. I mean, admittedly, it's aged a little bit, um, but it still looks really, really nice. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it would held up now. Which if they did a HD remake, it'd be glorious. I think. But the Fort of Truck, that has to be one of the most iconic moments in Shenmue <laughs> history. Is the uh, Fort of Truck racing from Shenmue One, absolute glorious. But yeah, so. Ending of Shenmue 1 is you basically come into Hong Kong. The reason you come to Hong Kong is to avenge your father's death um, by a man called Landy. Um, so I won't go into so much of the story from Shenmue 1, but basically you find out there's a lead that he might be somewhere around Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got to try and save the money up. You get the money, you get the boat, you go to Hong Kong. 
and this is me now taking play. Yeah. Aberdeen. Oh, I've gone to Scotland. Scotland. Bang it. Oh no, it's alright. Hong Kong, Aberdeen. Mm. It's alright. That could have been quite an inconvenient moment in time. Um, as you can probably tell from the camera at the top, we're actually playing the Shenmue 2X version, which is the one that was released on the. Right. Um, yeah. So the it came out on the Dreamcast in quarter. Japan Yen and in apartments. Europe, but not in the States. This is where Lee Shao Tao is. Um, but the original Dreamcast version, because it wasn't getting released in the States, they didn't bother dubbing it. So the UK peeps got Japanese version with English subtitles, which I actually prefer, to be honest. Yeah. Like it. It, it was so... I mean, don't get me wrong, I, like, I love this version just because we get another chance to play Shamu. Um, and also and, the, the voice and acting. This, <laughs> this in, voice acting. On occasion, is hilarious. It is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But, mm. but yeah, the 2X version, you could take photos. Traveler. Like this. Okay. Click! Nice. Um, but then if you take photos of iconic characters um, of certain events then you actually unlock cartoon strips yeah. uh, which come through which obviously weren't in the um, original version of Shenmue 2 story. Um, this is the Shenmue side story which lets you into a little bit more back backstory mm -hmm. and also what happens on the boat um, as well and it's, it it's ace it really is well and truly worth it um, I am going to put in because nice. it was really beautiful and because you're about to get robbed Yep. So another little tip: if you haven't played um, Shenmue 2 before, and um, after seeing this video, you a little bit intrigued and you want to play some more, if you find it, go out buy it. Right? If you don't have time to play through Shenmue 1 first, you get Shenmue the movie with it. Yep. Watch Shenmue the movie, and then I wholeheartedly recommend spending all of your money you have on capsule toys. Right. Immediately. And Zippo Immediately. lighters. And Zippo lighters. Because Rio loves to. And smell. arm wrestling. Yeah, I, I had another quick playthrough because it's, it's been quite a while since I played this and I failed miserably at the arm wrestling a minute ago. Uh, but, I mean, just the actual, the sheer volume of people that are actually walking around. Yeah. Every See? single person has individual um, voice acting and mannerisms and, sorry, mm -hmm. and that's what I love about it so like much. You can touch them too, Red. I can touch them too. It's brilliant. And apparently all the good looking boys have really good taste, so I'm going to go for the Jackal. You have an eye for quality. I do have an eye for quality. I do. Yeah. 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 Uh, Rio is probably the most emotionless person that that I think actually has a voice in the game. Mm -hmm. But uh, he still drags you in. To yeah. Su surprisingly, I mean, it's not. Don't know how. It's not the fact that just the voice dubbing's bad. It's just the fact that he really doesn't have that here? much to say. Um, but bless him. Mm -hmm. I love him to pieces. Um, See, so, I, what I was amazed when I played this one was how much of a step above the first one it was as well. Yeah. You need a place to stay. The, the you first one was not It'll that many cheap. populated areas you go to. You've got pretty much the main street in, in hey, W2 and, Let me take your photo. and stuff. And um, there's not a lot of people about. It was still amazing uh, to be like, look, you haven't talked to anyone. And then you go down the docks and there's a few sailors and stuff and there's a few... Huh. People on the to but in this, it to you later. there's just be hundreds and hundreds of different it. characters on the streets. Uh, okay. Yeah, amazing. And hardly any slowdown or anything. That's the one thing yeah. I loved about the frame rate was was brilliant. Mm -hmm. They enough held out the entire way through. If you need a place um, to stay, try and there's stay lodge. every street you go down, there's always something for you to do. Which I think is the other thing I love so much as well about this. It's not just a populated street. There's always things to do in each one as well. But bear in mind, you can get a bad ending if you spend too long arm wrestling. Take care of uh, yourself. Duck racing. Bye, Rio. One of the little classic favourites out there. Goodbye. You know, duck racing, which which is really hard to get, though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's really, but it's completely worth it because it just shows that despite it being, and it does take itself really seriously. <laughs> there is still the really fun elements out there mm -hmm. as well for it. Capture toys. Get out of my capture toy. See, I want, I want some Sega ones, and What's I don't. The other one? I don't really want just the Harbour toys. Oh, that's a bit dull. Because Harbour Toys are fun. Right. You're going to have to. In fact, if I do this, surely, and then go across, can I? No. Oh, he's in the way. I really want... I really... Right, I'm going to have to get some Harbour Toys then. I'm going to have some fun. It's $5. It's $5 for a Harbour Toy. I'll have some fun. Yeah, I'll, have I'll have some, some fun. fun. These capsule toys are perfect for small boys, I'd though, say. <laughs> if I... If this was me, and this was real life, and I saw that box full of empty capsules there, I'd just take them all. I 
that and that's part of the fun. Having I'll have it. some more yeah. fun. Shall I have some more fun? Or shall I see if he's no, finished? that's enough fun. Right, can I... No, no he's finished. He's can gone. I at least just get a, a say go on, please, before I move on? No! no! <laughs> Why won't you leave? Excuse me. Are you by any chance Japanese? Yes. Yes, how can you tell? Yes, that's right. I know it. So, you like to buy the capsule toys, yeah. eh? I do like to buy capsule toys. Huh? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> All right, we're going to be good buddies. Yes. Right. Okay. Then please. I got some real sweet info to pass Ooh. on to you. Interesting. Oh. Sweet info. Sweet you info. You can sell your old castle toys at pawn shop. You can. It's true. At the pawn right. shop. Right. I've played yeah, this well, so many times. Never done this. Stuff, so and he's careful. never appeared once Thank to tell you. me about this. <laughs> yes. Hey. Right. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I, I will. I will stray away from capture toys in a minute. <laughs> it's just it's onto uh, vending machines. Onto vending machines. <laughs> what are we gonna get? Looks interesting. Gonna get? I'm gonna guess it's gonna be something from um, Sonic. Ah, oh, knights! It's knights. Nice. Awesome. Knights too. Amazing. Look at it. Look at it. No, it's glory. It's got very wrinkly hands. Whoa. But at least it doesn't bite his fingernails. True. Look at it. I can't really tell, to be honest. I'll have some more fun. I won't have any more fun for now, I'm afraid. I want this time. So, obviously you got the Virtual Fighter poster. This originally did start off life as the uh, as the Virtual Fighter RPG. Mm. It wasn't originally going to be Shenmue. And it was originally going to be on the Saturn. It was, Project Berkeley. Mm. But uh, thankfully, they had good taste and decided to create it in its own universe. Give it that unique touch. However, it One still plays out. when you do the combat. You can still do some of the moves from the likes of Virtua Fire. That's still awesome. Um, should I go for a Sapporo or should I go for coffee? I'm going to go for a Sapporo. Go for it. This one. I think seeing somewhere in my Sapporo t shirt as well would be uh, That's true. And your Rio Hazuki jacket. I do like it a lot. <laughs> your white t shirt? No. Not to wear my Sapporo oh, yeah. t shirt. Hmm. Which is amazing. I also got the Tomato Convenience Store t shirt in my uh, bag as well. Because I didn't Just know which one I was going to wear. <laughs> Ah, he nice. didn't do it, and it's not a winning can. Oh. But every time I have a drink from a can now, I always go, ah, good. He, he actually does. And then crush it. He really does. He and I have to, I have to stand next to a bench. Shall I get my fortune taken as well? Okay. Why not? It, it does get far more exciting than this. Welcome. I'm just showing you all have the things you can do inside of it. <laughs> and to be fair, $20? No. We don't need the money. We're about to get robbed by Wong. So. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Please. If my feature is, you're about to get your bag stolen. <laughs> so I'll put it on both shoulders and never let go. He's got big hands. I see a wide her. road. A there wide are many road. cars. Small the manual Gold. labor. Ahead, that's there's true, a that's place the that you see. But, but what? You will lose your money. You will lose your money. What? That's all. Oh my God, I'm going to lose my money apparently. Come again. Just lost twenty dollars. Tell you that safe. much. May your journey be safe. Thanks. I see. She looks like Chun Li. She does a little bit. Right. right. Come on. Okay. Let's go and start the story then, shall we? And thus, the saga begins. It's my message turn again at the moment. Now. Excellent. I do like it. I spent many an hour on this pier, literally gambling away, arm wrestling, which I'm gonna do now and lose horrendously because I get so excited at it. Why? I start early. She <laughs> <sighs> Mendez Gus. Yeah, wins. It's amazing though, back in the day when you actually thought that this looked just like you've never seen anything look like this before yeah. and now looking back you're like wow some of the faces and stuff they do look quite entertaining um but yeah so this is this is the world's first sort of like really renowned what the past is free um for the graphical engine which is the fully reactive oh, yeah, eye entertainment um where there's just so much you could actually look around and see and it was just all there to touch and play around with it was groundbreaking for its time and there was never really anything that done this before um so it was yeah. it was superb right. really really That's superb 
just the level of interaction and detail in it was, was phenomenal. And I really want his shirt. Yo, Hazuki. Yo, Hazuki. Yo, Hazuki, eh? Okay. Let's go. Right. Go for it, Reg. And do Here's it. Our powerful challenger. The samurai boy from Why does everyone know that he's from Japan? Yo, Hazuki! <laughs> Who's he fighting against? The Mexican villain wrestler. Mm. <laughs> oh, I accidentally took photos, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The thing I love about this world is it doesn't even try and break you in easy, it's just literally go for it. Yeah. I'll take it easy on you, boy. Didn't ask. Didn't uh -huh. ask. Ah, you wish you did. Yep. I'll say oh, fight. Really so I'll apologise in advance for the losing at this. There we go. Ready and fight! Oh. Uh, come on, you bugger, come on! Yeah! Amazing. Boom. That is how Rio does it, baby. Good. Holy! <laughs> wow. Wait, did we just win more money? Yeah. So we just got more money for one. Pretty much. That was terrific. Pointless. See, this point. is why it's good, because milk, obviously the calcium helps your bones, and yeah. you'll be drinking lots of milk. Perfect for this school. This is where bread, I want so. to go. Well, it's really worth it. Mm. Just so many cult lines from the Shemu oh, yeah. series as well. Don't like, you know blackmail is way uncool? I used that the other week as well at <laughs> work. It's an amazing. Azuki from Suga High. Yo, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Love him to pieces. Again, like the, the characters in this, the ones that are actually involved um, that you get to, to properly meet and you meet on several occasions, all have amazingly different personalities, which is something that I absolutely love. Um, in all of the games, and then the speeches that they come from are just all so good, so good. It's joy. I love the music for her as well. Yeah. And possibly one of the most sexed up characters as well. Yeah. In the game and everything. That's the perfect going? photo opportunity there, right? Yeah. Well, last time you laughed at me when I did that before, and <laughs> I was having a little look at it, so I thought, Japanese. better not. Must be Japanese. <laughs> Remember this, the thing, the thing I love as well is see how busy the streets are, and yet she doesn't care. She just drives so fast on that bike. Please don't carry. No. It's that way, the way you were going. And yet, right, they're playing the music so loud. Where is the music coming from? She's got a stereo in her bike. Excellent. Thanks, Joy. I hope that doesn't mean anything. Although the music's still playing. Yeah. Right. Come on, I just want to get robbed. I don't need to run from <laughs> You can do it. Really need the toilet. Really need the Go. Sorry. <laughs> That's a beautiful pigeon park. That is a pigeon park. Look at it. Yeah, it's a pigeon cafe. Michael Bay will be proud. JJ Abrams. Oh, JJ Abrams even. Not Michael Bay. This is really that joke. Panda shirt. <sighs> Look at it. It's glorious. She is one of the people that you need to take a photo of, I think. Either that or I just always took a picture <laughs> of her because she had the panda. You always took the photo of the panda. Yeah. That'll do. Usually you do have to lock onto her for it to really take effect, but yeah. seems we won't be getting that far into it. There's not really any need for me to yeah. do so. Dee dee dee. There is a lot of cutscenes at the beginning of this. <laughs> yeah, see the difference is the first one, you've got that good, well, amazing 10 minute, 15 minute cutscene at the beginning, which sets up the whole story. And by the time you've done that, you're like, this is amazing already, you really want to get into it. This is, all you get is a little boat ride. What are you going to do? And then it's none of your business. Yeah, I don't think so. Great, we, we're already sold on it, but I can imagine people who've never played it before. Yeah, like the newcomers. Yeah, it's time to play it. Uh, well, obviously they watch Shenmue the movie first. Oh, oh no! If only I would have seen this coming, I could have, you know, stopped this. Averted the crisis. Which way did they go, Dan? I lost them. The Phoenix oh, there's a sign for one, Zai. You don't need to ask anyone anymore now, just follow the sign. I just go to one side. Oh yeah. wait, no, I need to find my bag first. Yeah, get your bag first. Looked like you were mocking that old man there. <laughs> walking at the same speed. 
<coughs> Do you like this? 1987. This is the one thing I love as well, even despite it being in 1987 and like 1986 in the um, mm-hmm. in Shenmue 1, is when you're actually in the game, if you go in Shenmue 1 in your brother, in, in your room, the TV, go underneath it in the cupboard, there's actually a Sega Saturn in the, um, yeah. in the cupboard. <laughs> That's right. Which, which I love. And it didn't exist. I think CDs barely existed then, did they? No, that, that, yeah, I don't even think they were up, were they? It's got all cassette tapes you can buy from the tomato convenience store. Excuse me. I'd like to ask you something. Bro, I don't ask the poison, bro. To us. I haven't seen you around here. I had my bag stolen. A bag? Who cares? Yeah, they don't really look like the types of guys that you would actually go up to and <laughs> inquire over a bag, <laughs> do they, really? That was your I first thing. Was clear, yeah. <laughs> Fine. Did you see me really hover over there? Wait! <laughs> You think you can just ask and then just leave? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I see. We were you just told nice us to leave. Till you came. You are leaving already, are you? You just asked me to leave. Like bro says, you can't But we've just told you that our bag's been stolen oh and we've got no money. Pain. Yeah, some money. No way. No way. Uh oh. It's about to go down. All right, for the woman who runs the restaurant doesn't care. Uh-oh. Oh, thank God Joy's around. That's dangerous. That's out, actually guys. dangerous. Joy. I hope she never falls off that bike because yeah, she's not, not really well wearing protected. much. She's going to be very, very injured. I'm not fooling around. My bag was stolen. <laughs> <laughs> she was right. I guess right. That's not funny, though. What? Still. It's a what kind of monster <laughs> stole your bag? A little guys. boy. One of them is a little kid. A kid? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Wong. Wong got you. So obviously loads of you people know him. him. Why is he still alive? Pigeon Park. The park's that way. <laughs> what? Because Thanks. if you've seen the people that obviously live around here, mm-hmm. in them, if he tried to nick from them, mm-hmm. they would surely, you're on a pier. Yeah, but he's only doing he, it he to tourists. He, he could easily, he's you know, only stealing from tourists. sleep with the fishes. He's, I, he, just, he doesn't steal from, like, the Poison Brothers. Right. Let's go to Pigeon Park. To where we were. I love this though, because when I had it on Dreamcast, I had to get one of the third party controllers, like the Mad Cats ones, because they were so much bigger. So that when I played, I didn't get hand cramp because of the weird positioning of the uh, the pad, because the Dreamcast pad was so small. Mm. That when you play for like excessive hours, like <laughs> I think I completed Shenmue, I think one of them was in, like 23 hours. Um, it took me just straight, just sat there and just like played it because I was absolutely in love so with it. Um, and I spent hours doing this as well, just chasing pigeons around. But I will not do that for this video. And, and each pigeon has um, its own unique uh, visual characteristics and personality. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it's it did. It's it does. I wish it did. Must find them and treat my back. His his diary and journal is. Some of them are really. Yeah. Really bizarre, <laughs> but anyway, sorry. I'll get out of the uh, journal. The journal comes in really handy later on when you've got so many places you need to visit and you can't remember where to go or what to do. Um, so we've been told that Wong is obviously in Pigeon Park. So it's now this. we're just going to run around Pigeon Park <gasps> and find Mr. Wong. Just it, it is like whenever I start playing this again, it reminds me then of how Damn. massive where this, is he? this one is. Oh, even over the first one. Yeah. So much bigger. Like when you leave Hong Kong and you go to Kow- is it Kowloon you go to? Yep. Um, yeah, just and every building there, like the Yellowhead building's like what about twenty floors? That's him. And each floor is something. Yeah. So many different places. You and can you can do to. your illegal street fighting. Oh, yeah. No. To win some cash. And it's just massive. It's one of the the few Wait, places well that actually really bag. don't like back games back. that don't mind doing work and stuff. Um, on it, usually be like, oh god, I just want to get on with the game, but with this, more than happily, like, shift boxes, move, bu- um, like, books around, I, I will do whatever, just because I can. Boom, look at that, beautiful save, love. When I catch up with that Wong, I'm going to lose it. Oh, 
Ha ha! Beautiful. Oh, barrels. This is the barrels. Oh, someone left some bamboo. Nice. Beautiful slide. Beautiful slide. Oh, yeah. And it's also one of the games, really, Shenmue was the original game that brought in QT events into near enough most titles that came out mm. <laughs> but on the Xbox and it's still consistent Cool Z now. Cool Z is possibly one of the greatest guys I love the song that he yeah, constantly has playing through boom box <laughs> it is glorious I just wish I had the, the iron palm so I want my bag back why don't you why, why did you suddenly you forget the iron palm much, eh? You've got the move that Tom taught you at the uh, old hot dog stand. Which is another one of my favourites. So you're not using very effectively there. I'm not using very effectively because they're blocking it. I'm just going to get the shit kicked out of me now, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> when, I played this... the one that's... Wow. <laughs> when I played this before, I just I literally just battered them like, straight I swear away. I did, I swear. Okay, nice. Yeah, let's, uh, let's chuck a throw on this one. Aha! I counted it. Bastard. Right, um... Ah, lens flat. Why am I doing so bad at this now? Apologies for the uh, the video, but he's... So oh. even he's sick of it now. He's just pulling out a knife like, right. <laughs> just gonna end and this. And I need to finish this. He's embarrassing himself and everybody who's watching this. Come on. Right. This really is embarrassing. This right. really is embarrassing. I just lost that fight. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Should I cut that out? Yeah, cut that bit out. Okay. Please. Actually, cut that bit out. Although, I don't think we're going to get a chance don't to... Uh, mess with us, kid. you got to find him again. I don't think I've ever lost that fight. So no, I don't know what I've <laughs> never lost that fight either, to be fair, so I've never seen this before. One, come here quick. Yeah. Interesting. Right, okay, yeah. Um, apparently, I'm not going to get to do that again. <laughs> Right, so we won't be cutting that bit out then. Um, <laughs> Those guys. Dang it. Right, nope. Excellent. Right, now what? This is interesting. Yeah, I don't know what to do from this now because I've never lost that fight before. Where are they? You've got to find them again. I'm guessing they're going to be in the... Um... <laughs> right. The one's just like, i got to stop going to Pigeon Park. <laughs> yeah. If he's playing around on the same, yeah, on the same pier bit again. That's Panda good. lady, do you know? Panda lady, Excuse I've just got the shit kicked out of me. Can Hi. you help me? Have you seen a group of four thieves? Some suspicious-looking guys were walking by a She's while got a weird ago. Voice. She doesn't fit her face. They're walking by a while ago, right? Which, can you, which yeah, way? thank you. Left here. Toward the lilac. Toward the lilac. All right. All right. All right. Let's try this again then. I can't believe the one time I actually get to play this. <laughs> the one time I actually do that. That's quite horrendous. I just want to show what happens when you don't actually do what's scripted. Okay. So, obviously, everyone expects you to win that fight. Right. Yeah. But then when you don't win it, it comes up with an alternative as well, so it doesn't really matter. True. Sometimes with this, mm -hmm. when you get a, um, like a, a game over scene as what should happen, mm. it doesn't always have to go that way. Right, anyway, I can't play with you. They're gone. Is that mm -hmm. the Lila Eatery? This is the Ling Ling. Ling. Right, okay, so let's ask this lovely old lady. Excuse me. What is it? Do you know where the Lila Eatery is? Did you see a group of four thieves? I don't know. What good are you? You little girl. Got a minute? Yes. Did you see a group of four suspicious looking people? I didn't see anybody like that. I see. I see. Oh, she's been sitting there for a while, or he. Yeah. She, he, she. Hey. What? Have you seen four suspicious looking guys? I haven't seen them. And you know, my mommy told me I should avoid staring <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. You trying to call me <laughs> weird? Idea where I... No. There aren't any bad guys around. My mommy said there were some bad people over Work on the Workers' Pier. Right, okay. okay. Maybe that's where the Lila Eater is. Don't go in there. Oh, I hey, can't wait. Go in it, but they said it was by here. If you don't have a permit, you can't come in. Stay away. 
Okay, so if I go to where my bag is actually hidden? No, because you don't know where your bag is hidden. Okay. If I go around the area where my bag is, is hidden? If you don't know that it's there, Ed, stop ruining the illusion. My bag's not there. <laughs> right, okay. So Wong's put my bag somewhere else then. Just ask someone where the Lila Eater is. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to ask this gent. Excuse me. Because he yeah. looks remarkably friendly and not suspicious at all. Did you see a group of fourth? Hmm. Haven't seen anybody. Seen anybody. Can I speak to you? Yes. Excuse me. What? Are you serious? Yes. Please. Really, she? They didn't hear me. Oh, the little cows. Let's ask that lovely lady again and see if she can tell me where Lila Eater is. The panda lady. Panda lady. Panda watch. Lady. Excuse me. Hi. I'd like to ask you about... Some suspicious looking guy. Left here. Toward right the here. Lila Eater. Don't Not left. Oh, they there. left here. Not to the left. To the left. I'm sure this is... Lila right. Eatery! Amazing. Uh, yeah, it's the one where the quick time event was. <coughs> Lai Lai Eatery. Lai Lai Eatery, I sound so happy about this. Well, well, well. He's going to teach him a lesson with the chopsticks. What do you want? Now, where's my bag? Get lost! <laughs> You! Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, Reg. This is good. I've never <laughs> done this fight before, then. No. Oh, you can actually trash the tables as well. Bloody knife. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Him. Boom. Nice. That's how the first fight should have gone. Yeah, but only but, losing one. But with a little bit health. better moves going on. Yeah. My fighting's gone really sloppy on this. Really sloppy. Right. Where's Cool Z and where's Wong? Where is Cool Z? No. No, you're not. I'll show you where your bag's hidden. You better not be lying. I've got a feeling he is lying because I was just there a second ago and it wasn't there. Unless that's where he's just come from from putting the bag there. Mm -hmm. Follow me. It's this way. This is the other thing I love about this as well. The follow. The actual following bit because yeah. even when you get confused later on in the game, you can't remember which way is which. You can actually go up to like kids or anyone like adults and just be like, Can, can you show me where this yeah. is? And they go, Oh, I'll, I'm that way anyway, I'll show mm -hmm. you. And then if you didn't really want to press anything, you know, just hold back and you will get dragged along for it. So you can actually go make a broom <laughs> and come back. Yeah, because <clears throat> they will actually stand there as well and wait for you to say, Oh, thank you. So they'll just wait there. So even if you just aren't there waiting to walk around. Then you come back and you just press the button, that's when they will actually leave. Right. But just also goes to show as well that each actual person must be like sort of pre programmed to where to go as well around the whole map. It's it was amazing for its day. Absolutely amazing. The bag is here. Hey, it is there. I hope everything's inside it. Mm. Damn, the money's gone. I bet they gambled it away. It wasn't Do you reckon? Me? Mm -hmm. I swear. If you go to the pier, then yeah. They spent the uh, money there you go. There what? you go. Really? They spent it all just like that? I'm sorry. I'll do anything if you'll forgive me. I'm gonna me. beat you, kid. I would. No, he, he should. Yeah. Is that the only way he'll learn? It's the only way he'll learn. It's tough love. I want to go here. I'm not too familiar with it's fine, I saw signs. I've got yeah. the come over guest house in the green market quarter. Green market come quarter. Over guest house. Come over guest house. 
unable to say stuff the in one sentence. The guy knows a lot. He can tell you, I'm sure. I'll draw a map. Do you well, have a pen? I don't know. I'm not sure what else you stole. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Write it down here. See, so he keeps pens and paper and stuff in his pockets, but yeah, not his money. Here you still go. Writing his notebook. I think it's clear enough. See, I prefer okay. to have a wallet in my pocket Run instead of the yeah, notebook. Sure. That's very true. Yeah, but I'll go the now. mirror, is the mirror still there? If you saw a mirror fashioned from pure plumbing, whatever the heck is it, what is it, jade? Mm. And you stole a bag to add that in, would you not just immediately go and pawn I should it? Find the oh, I would steal that straight away. Clearly worth a lot. And then I'd hope that there was another mirror that might <laughs> no, coincide sure. with it. Maybe, and release the magical sword. Very, very possibly. Right. I think we need to call it a day there, though, Reg. Okay, but the actual game is just about to begin. <laughs> so we give you a little sneak peek. Sneak peek. A, um, <laughs> yeah, a not-so-great playthrough <laughs> of it, admittedly. Um, but that's partly my fault. But this is um, this is Shenmue 2 in all, all its glory. Look at it. Look at it. So, yeah, so thanking you very much for having a little sneaky peek yeah. at Shenmue 2. This is part one part of our trifecta of Shenmue related goodness. So, go and check out our podcast. We've done a special Shenmue episode. And also, our interview on our website with the guys who run the amazing Shenmue Tweetathon. So, yeah, go and read it and listen to stuff. You'll probably find that it, the listening's probably going to be a little bit better than my playthrough of this. So, <laughs> will it? Will it? <laughs> That's why we say say at the end. Say at the end. Yeah. Draw them in. So if yeah, you're still watching, yeah. thank you so much. Um, it's been a pleasure. And hopefully we'll we'll get a little bit further in on this and then do a proper decent video of a lot more stuff coming on. Maybe. Maybe. Thank you. Bye. Bye. G dot E dot E dot K G dot E dot E dot K G dot E dot E dot K G dot E dot E dot K